Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss Law, Prol number 25, Halliday Resting Walker edition 10. Let me read out the question. An infinite line, uh, uh, line of charge produces a field of magnitude 4.5 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb at a distance 2 meters. Find the linear charge density. So we have an infinite line charge uh, which produces some electric field. So if we have an infinite line charge, say a positively uh, charged line, at some distance of 2 meters, it produces an electric field of E uh, whose magnitude is given by 4.5 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. Uh, we need to find out uh, linear charge density. So we have to find out charge per unit length. Now for a line charge, you must be aware, we have done it in previous sessions and you must have done it when you go through this chapter, when you have went through this chapter, that uh, field due to a line charge is lambda divided by 2 pi epsilon 0 r. A very simple derivation from uh, Gauss law, which can also be written as twice lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r. So field is given to us. Okay, electric field, magnitude of the electric field is given. R is given, 4, four pi epsilon 0 we already know. Lambda we have to find out. Okay, so it's easy, we can uh, just rearrange this equation here. So lambda is equal to 4 pi epsilon 0 R into E divided by 2, 2 downstairs. Now 4 pi epsilon 0 R, we, uh, uh, you must be aware that inverse of 4 pi epsilon 0, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is 10 in, 9 into 10 to the power 9 in SI system. So 4 pi epsilon 0 R is 1 divided by 9 into 10 to the power 9. Okay, so inverse of 4 pi epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 to the power 9. So we have uh, one, 4 pi epsilon 0 upstairs here. So we'll write 1 by 9 into 10 to the power 9. Then we have 2 in the denominator. We have R upstairs, R is given is 2, two meters and field is given is 4.5 into 10 to the power 4, okay, 4.5 into 10 to the power 4. So simple, 2 and 2 cancels out, 4.5 into 2 is 9, so 1 by 2 is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 9 will go upstairs, so it will become 10 to the power minus 9, minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5. So 10 to the power minus 5. Uh, we have used everything in SI system. So what we get will also be in SI system. Lambda is charge per unit length. So we'll have Coulomb per meter. Okay, SI system. Coulomb per meter. Or this can be written as, we can also write it as lambda is equal to 5 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay, 5 into 10 to the power minus 6. Coulomb per meter or 5 micro coulomb per meter. Okay, 5 micro coulomb per meter. So this is line charge density of this uh, uh, of this line charge. Okay, that'll do for this session.